church. Good morning. Sorry, I'll be looking down a lot. We will start by reading Revelation 1 verse 8. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, says the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I love the New Living Translations that says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord God. I am the one who is, who always was, and who is still to come, the Almighty. And so this brings us to our topic for today, Alpha and Omega. Um, looking at um, doing some research and reading about the um, Alpha and Omega and um, some of the points that I wrote down is um, how God is from everlasting to everlasting. Um, and I was looking at Hebrew 2. Um, it speaks about God being the author or finisher of our faith. And even that author and finisher reminds me of um, books that I usually read. And, you know, we have famous authors and writers. But I would have to say probably, I would have to say, not probably, <laughs> that God is actually the greatest writer um, of, of, of all. And because the book that is written which is the scriptures that we read today we are actually part of the story humanity is part of this great story of creation and being part of that story knowing especially being knowing the end of the story knowing how victorious we're going to be and how we can look towards you know a, a great victorious end mm -hmm. is something that is a beautiful thing and even time and season that we do go through are things that we know that everything we do go through good or bad it all has an end but eventually there will be a glor glorious end mm. to our story um so i would encourage everyone to look towards that as well in life and um, we've got a couple of more points that we need to go through as well you know i have to admit when we were asked to do this and we were sent some topics you know the topic that stood out for me was i am i was excited for some reason and you know I was hoping that we will get that I am so I can tell people who God is to me. And also because I've got something written down similar, I thought I would just use that. But God had another plan. I was not disappointed but glad because this topic helped me to discover and understand that Alpha and Omega sums up all the names of our God. Jehovah mm. Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, I am that I am, our rock, our savior. Any other name you can call God, Alpha and Omega sums up all the names that we call God. Why this you may ask? Because Alpha and Omega simply mean beginning and the end. It was in the beginning. It was before he created the heavens. It was before John 1 verses 1 to 3. It was before he created us and everything in between that we don't even know of. It was be before the events in the book of Genesis. It was before the book of Revelation. And it will be after this event mentioned in the book of Revelation. Our God has been there even before the beginning. Praise God. And so I would like to relate this topic to one of the many challenges that we are facing in the world right now. One of the many things that we are facing even as an individual this topic we are relating it today, we are relating Alpha and Omega to health issue. Some of us right now might say, praise God, I'm actually fine. My health is great. If you are doing great, I'm sure you definitely know someone that is not doing so great. Somebody that knows somebody that is seriously unwell, or maybe you are even praying for somebody. Let's not forget the recent pandemic. Let's not forget so many people we have been praying for and still praying for all around the world today. But just like God knew the beginning and the ending of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, He knew about our beginning. Psalm 139, 13, He knits us together in our mother's womb. In fact, God's plan for us is of good and not of evil. God wants all of us to prosper. He wants a great future for us all. Jeremiah eleven twenty nine. We see the heart of God in Jesus that every sick he came across, the Bible says he had compassion on them and healed them. 
I know some might say that if God is so loving and want what is good for me, then why am I going through this? What am I going and um, why am I going through what I'm going through right now? Or even we have prayed, you know, some of us have prayed countless of times. We have prayed for people, but the end result, we didn't get what we wanted. I want you to know that though God exists, the devil is also at work. And as long as we are on this earth, we will be faced with so many challenges. But let me encourage you today that nothing, absolutely nothing, passes God by. Anything that happens to us is simply because God allows it. He allows it to happen because nothing takes God nothing takes God by surprises. He is the Alpha and Omega. And it's not because you are a bad person and God decided to punish you that you're going through it. No. Everything happens for the glory of God. Whether good or bad, if God allowed allow it to happen, it is because it's for his glory. So anything that we're going through right now, whether good or bad, as long as God allows it to happen, it is for the glory of God Almighty. And no matter what we are going through today, whether good or bad, how difficult it may be, I just want us to pause for a second and say, God, I don't know why you have allowed this to happen. But I thank you for everything because the Bible says in everything we should thank God. Please let your will be done and let your kingdom come. Amen. Sometimes God allows certain things in our lives just to give us a wake up call. Or to even give us the opportunity to cry out to him. And most importantly for us to see God as who he truly is. And know what we want from him. And though this may not sound like what we want to hear, but I believe the most important in our attitude, the most important mm -hmm. is actually our attitude towards God. So when we're going through challenges, what is our attitude toward God? Are you still faithful to God? Do you still pray like you, you, you used to? Are you willing to trust and say, God, even if this sickness bring me home to you i am willing and ready for your will to be done mm. is your focus and your heart chasing after god the father who is the owner of our lives or is your focus it is at the present situation i pray that god will help all of us to focus at the end result and not um and not our present situation right now there is a saying that says, this world is only a market. We're just passing through. Very soon, we will all return home. And I want to leave us with this, um, Isaiah 43, 2, that says, when you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulties, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. In Jesus' name, amen. And our key scripture is Revelation 21, 6 and Isaiah 16, 19 to 20. Shall we pray, please? Lord, we thank you and we praise you for who you are in our lives, in our churches and in our circumstances right now. We know that you have no power. We, we know that we have no power over ourselves, just like Satan's have no power over us unless the one that we give to him because we are the children of the most High. lord we lay our sorrows our worries our afflictions our difficulties our entire lives right now into your hands today we say and agree today that you know our beginning and our end please take total control of our lives and of our families we pray that you will have mercy on us and allow us to live for your glory Allow us to live to fulfill the will of God for our lives. Help us to always trust you and to put our hope on you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.